So there was a fireside chat that Charles Hoskinson did during Rare Evo uh, back on the 15th through the 17th. And during this chat, he actually talked about this competitive advantage that Cardano has over other blockchains in the space. It's something that frankly, no other chain can do. And what this has to do with is actually the consensus model that Cardano uses. For those that aren't familiar, we use Ouroboros here in, in Cardano. And because of this, we have uh, a different level of decentralization. We have over 3000 uh, staking pool operators. And this is why Cardano has such an extreme level of security that, that frankly, most other chains struggle at. We've seen downtime, we've seen exploits from other blockchains in the space. And this is why Cardano really truly does have a, a competitive advantage. He says the exercise of consensus building is one of the hidden superpowers and biggest competitive advantage that Cardano has. So when we talk about uh, adoption and what businesses and enterprises and governments and things like that are, are looking for, it's the exact thing that Cardano provides. It's perfect security, perfect uptime. There are some other chains that that have some things that are close, right? but nothing really matches the real thing. And this is where Cardano, now that we're getting into the state of full decentralization with, with you know full on-chain governance and things like that, it really becomes uh, essentially a tamper-proof blockchain. All right, really think about that. Imagine having a, a, a whole network that is completely tamper-proof. And this is where the the this is where the big brain moment it begins, right? When you think about this, having a, a base layer that is that is perfect, 100% uptime, perfect security, then you start to expand and you start to create partner chains that can leech off of Cardano security and Cardano consensus, utilizing that perfect infrastructure already in place to run things outside of the Cardano blockchain. This is where you really start to grasp how insane Cardano actually is, how good what is being built actually is. The thing is, is the most most thing that people focus on is ADA, right? What is ADA price doing? Is it going up? Is it going down? Are we, you know, going sideways? Are we consolidating, right? That's that's what most people care about in the space. But we talk about the much bigger and broader utilization of, of Cardano network, Cardano, you know, infrastructure. This is where it becomes more of a mainstay in the industry. This is why I've said that Cardano isn't going anywhere. This is why I've said that Cardano is going for world domination. It truly has the model that can become all of all of crypto, where truly the entire world can run off of the Cardano blockchain, not necessarily on on chain Cardano, right? But utilizing Cardano in some sense, utilizing ADA in some sense. It truly is fascinating the way that Cardano has been built. And the foresight that has been that has been done to get us to this point. And the thing is, is now we're starting to see some of this finally being put into play. This long roadmap has finally got us to this point where we're starting to see this begin to be utilized. We're not there. It's going to take probably a very long time to get to some of these insane levels where, where frankly, everything can run on Cardano, right? But if you haven't noticed, things keep getting better and better and better. More partnerships tap for more utility when it comes to government, more education taking place. All the right steps are, are being followed through right now. And this true advantage that Cardano has is only going to get bigger and better as time goes on. So I appreciate you guys as always. I hope you guys enjoyed the, the video. Let me know your thoughts on this. Let me know if you have the same great vision of Cardano as I do and many others do. But have a great day. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.